Hello, and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob, and I call myself Sansomi. And today, second uh, season is going to start, but we are having this uh, episode zero, because we're only going to be playing one league game. The rest of this episode is going through what has happened here uh, it in the Manchester United squad. So... We have bought Mattis Delight. Ain't that a nice... He cost, He did empty our coffin, that's for sure. Then we have actually been very lucky uh, getting some good players on free transfers, like uh, Boubacar Camara, um, Frank Cassier from uh, AC Milan, a good uh, defensive midfielder. Uh, what else did we get? Christian Eriksen, also on a free transfer. I couldn't resist when uh, I saw Arsenal bidding for him uh, or offering him a contract. And of course, the big news is that we have one of the best players in the world here now, Kylian Mbappe, which uh, hopefully will help us develop a lot. But we never know. And um, what else? Yeah, Benjamin Sheshko has come uh, from... Salzburg now, so now he's going to be able to play for us. <clears throat> I think, to be honest, I, we also signed Anel uh, Ahmed Ehodic. Yeah. So, and I've sold um, Lindelof. Um, I'm I'll, I'll actually trying to figure out if I'm going to keep Harry Maguire or not. Because now, at the moment, I have a couple of really good central defenders. I have Matisse Delight, I have Varane, I have uh, Anel, I have Kamara. So that's four. So uh, for me, Harry Maguire is fifth. So maybe I should try and sell him as well. Get, could I get the money for him? Then anything can happen. So let's do that. Let's actually try and sell him. And he's not available for loan. Okay, let's see. I want to let you know before I actually... I'm going to place you on the transfer list shortly. No, I don't want to. I'm afraid I can't find a place for you in my squad. And I'm going to place you on the transfer list. Sorry, but I'm not willing to accept that. I can fight my way back into the squad. I'm sure of it. Um, no. I really would implore, implore you to understand why I'm doing this. Oh, well. I'm still going to transfer list you. But we want to... I want that money, to be honest. And I'm going to tell you just why I want the money as well. Let's see. Like there's somebody let's actually do transfer unwanted list sell for value and he's valued at 34 so 34 million pounds would be a welcome asset for us we have 35 <clears throat> and and that's a fair enough i think but we need more because my next to be honest, as you can see here, there's loads of things happening here. We're trying to get rid of Jesse Lingard now as well. But what I was going to say is, let's have a look at the scouting and shortlist. If I can afford it, I am of course not going to say no to signing Erland Haaland. But then we need to get the money together because that's... Cesco is not... Finished product, so the only really good finished striker I have is Karim. Uh, so, if we take a look at the two squad again, we can see we have Cavani, but he is on his way out. Mbappe, I want to use him as a left winger. So, there is Karim, and sure, there is Marcus Rashford that could work, and Benjamin Chesco, but Benjamin Chesco, I think he has a long way to go before he's. He's going to play week out and week in and, and be anywhere near Karim Adeyemi. So now that we have pretty much made 
this a uh, strong side because I I fear that I'm going to get fired if I don't really contend for the title this year because we have such good players here now that we have uh, that we have signed in. So yeah, I think it's very important uh, if we take a look at the transfer history here. Uh, here is the all of these came in then Mbappe free transfer Kamara free transfer Anel 4 million uh, Frank Cassie free Christian Eriksson free Matisse Delight 100 million 120 uh, he cost a lot and we did let Scott McTominay go to them so and I've tried to get rid of players as well we get Victor Lindelof we got 25 millions for him and um, so yeah, uh, not a lot of money. Palestri, we got fourteen point seventy five millions for. And Matic, we got rid of him three million. Um, Bernard here six million. Donny the Bake thirty two point five million. So that's a good thing as well. I don't think he um, is good enough, but maybe he was, and maybe I've just gotten rid of a really good player but yeah I don't think he's um, that good to be honest so a lot of little youngsters and stuff like that I've tried to sign as well and uh, yeah we've released or sold a lot of the under 23 that I feel wouldn't come into this and the preseason has gone okay we have uh, won every single we've only played uh, Saturday games because I'm trying out this uh, Sealand training preseason training and I'm hoping that I will have fitter player this season after his after that and I'm gonna show you that schedule we go in here and we go to custom schedules and preseason this is the preseason that he recommended and I've trained this for for uh, four five four or five weeks so uh, if if that's anything to go by we're gonna have good condition this season <clears throat> except for players that of course got injured but I was expecting oh, I'm gonna get an injury a week but no pretty much very short uh, injuries and um, there's been some food poisoning and stuff like that. Nothing else. A very, very slim with uh, with injuries. So I'm very happy about that. And um, yeah, I'm going to be changing um, the training on every player here now. Because now we have left that. So now we need to get back to that. And we want to keep this as medium. It's what they say, and we have double intensity when they are rested. So, just gonna see. Yeah, I couldn't do this as well. I had to take away everything so that I could had have double intensity when they were fully fit, and uh, now they're there. So now I'm just gonna add upon this, and I'm control. Of course, of course, I'm gonna control it if they're here. If they're in training units with my first team, of course, I'm going to control it as well. Mattis Delight. I'm very happy to have gotten Mattis Delight. And hopefully he will be a very strong figure for us. Um, make a real difference in the defense. And team up for her. Hopefully we'll team up very good with uh, Varane. But yeah, it's going to be tough um, because everything's going to be new and we need to get them to train together to become um, yeah, comfortable with each other. Is that the right word to say? So we're going to have, it's going to take some time, I'm sure. Let's see, I'm going to use him as a right complete winger support. Then I'm going to use him as a left then. Ethan Laird is going to get his opportunity to be substitute this season a lot. Hopefully. Luke Shaw. Complete wing back support. 
Druva. That's one of the new plyo, new youngsters. Complete support. Another one of those. Is he going to be playing there? Hmm. Or should I just try to make him an, a midfielder? I think I'm going to try and make him a midfielder, actually. Never wrong with that. Frank Casey, that's a more a defensive, so let's have him as a deep line playmaker, defend. This is another one of those young, interesting players. Inverted Winger seems to be giving the most training. And this is the one that I was talking about that had extreme um, potential in the, when he came up from the youth system. So hopefully he will be good for us. Bruno Fernandes, of course, he's going to be this box-to-box -box midfielder. So that's what he's going to train. Another one, Andy Stockbridge. Seemed like a very promising player as well, so I signed him as well. Here's Ahmad Diala. I think we're going to have to rely on him uh, as a as a reserve, and that's why I'm going to I'm trying to get rid of um, what's his name um, Jesse Lingard because I think I'm going to be aiming for him to take the right the right. Uh, the right midfield as a substitute for Sancho and then we have this one is interesting as well he's already on inverted winger but he's attacking now I want him to be there Hannibal is a so what I was going to say was of course that uh, I want Diallo to be Diallo, yeah, to be the the reserve on the right midfield, as I have um, Rashford as a reserve on the on the left. So yeah, Marcus Rashford here. I'm gonna be placing him a left midfielder like that, and then we have Jaden Sancho, who I want to be. He's going to. He has to be the right one. Let's have him on attack. Let's have Marcus Rashford on that as well. Left midfield, inverted winger, attack. And then we have Shola Shortire, another one that we can have as a reserve on that left, um, as a left winger. Karim Adiemi, we all know that player's greatness. I don't think, I think I'm going to be training him as a complete forward, actually. And support, I think. I think that gives him most things to train on. So uh, hopefully that will be good for him. Um, this is another youngster. I think I'm going to be training him. I think I'm going to be putting him on, on complete as well. Support. It's just that they, it, it gives them more to train upon. I don't know if it's good, but yeah. And here we have left inverted winger. I'm going to put him on attack instead of support. Cavani, we all know. We want him to be an advanced forward here to train in that situation. And Benjamin Cesco. Now, let's see. Since it is quite young and since he's going to be used in whatever situation we can, we're going to have him as a complete an attack to to try and, and develop as much as possible on him now we're done with that i'm going to do additional focus and stuff like that off camera i just wanted them to be training what they are supposed to train before we head into the game tomorrow uh, which is the only game we're going to be playing so um what else um do we have some other news we're going to start against fulham at home we have uh, the very first game in the next episode. In episode one, we have Liverpool away, Leicester away, and Burnley away. So those are going to be tough. And uh, as I said, I'm going to try and get Erlan Haaland 
but the, at the moment the finances does not agree with that of course uh, the vision is we are improving youth facilities training facilities and we have more coaches so um, yeah I think that is uh, what, where we're going and what we need to do and um, unfortunately we didn't get any trophies last um, season but uh, I think we made a good season season anyway I mean if we go back looking here at the last seasons we started out quite good in the league better than I expected um, the sad part was of course Cristiano Ronaldo uh, retiring uh, which was a major blow for us but we had a good thing with Karim Adeyemi coming up and and he became uh, a tremendous asset for us um, the entire season but uh, we did go out of, of the the Caraba Cup quite early in the quarter final against Tottenham we all remember that game and we went out against uh, South, no not Southend sorry went out against uh, let's see FA Cup we went we came to the fifth round and went out against Manchester City they really played us out. Champions League, we were close to beating out Bayern. We really were at the same time. I don't know. Maybe they were just um, controlling the game. And and then and then we're ending the season with a 5-1 victory um, in, the, in that game against Liverpool was a real testament that we had come somewhere, that we really were. Uh, close and of course uh, looking at the table ending up uh, let's say do we have the possibility to look at hmm. we can't see the table last season shouldn't that be possible is it not possible to see last season's league table, how it ended? Come on. Am I that stupid? I guess I am. Let's see. Well, we ended up in the, in the second position uh, after Liverpool. And um, that, for me, was a really good season we were actually quite uh, happy about that um it was a better first season than i than i expected i was just expecting and hoping to end up among the top four so that we could reach the champions league but we really did um pound get a good um fight for ourselves last season and we should be able to do uh, at least as good this season with the signings that we made. But they need to merge in together as a team. And um, that could take a, a, a couple of weeks or maybe even months before they, we are there. But um, we can see the odds for Liverpool and Manchester City are 2-1 to one, while we have 11-2. to two. So we are quite a far bit after them in the, the preview thingamajing here we can see that's right here we can see the table so ended up in the second position was actually a very good uh, season and we scored 94 goals so let's see if we can improve on that um, we can also take a look at little things that let's just have our schedule and we can see we can start with the uh, Carabao Cup and we go stages current season last season so we can see the team that won the Carabao Cup was Manchester City they did beat Tottenham in that final then we go back we go to the FA Cup to see who the winner of that tournament was and that was Manchester City as well, beating Burnley in the final. 
So they won both the domestic cups, City, both the League Cup and the FA Cup. Interesting. Um, and then we have the Champions League. And, um, yeah, being a Manchester United supporter, this is not funny to read. Liverpool beating Bayern 2-1 in the final. So Liverpool won the double last season. They won both the league and the Champions League. So, uh, yeah, strongly done by them. But, of course, nothing that I would like to happen in real life. And I really need to put an end to that uh, as quick as possible. So hopefully we can compete already this season and maybe even win. I don't know. But I I'm very happy about the players that I have gotten into this squad and I have a good feeling about this now. We just need to get rid of a lot of a dead, a lot of dead wood. Uh, you can see this squad looks small, but that's just because all the players that I want to get rid of are I've put into the under twenty three. So like Eric Bailey, Phil Jones, Alex Zutani, and what else did I have here that I want to get rid of? Jesse Lingard and uh, Anthony Alanga. So they're all down in that, uh, and of course I have a full, promising. Um, you can see, look at the potential here for a lot of these players. So a full, very high potential uh, under eighteen squad. So yeah, but of course let's together here. Let's let's, let's throw him down to the under twenty three. And let's get on to the game then, shall we? Let's keep this a little shorter, this episode. There will be no cuts in this video. Um, this will be a pure one um, from start to finish. And then next episode will, of course, be back with just being the games and, and talking through during the games and if something special happen of course then we bring that up as well but you should not have to sit and wait for this to go on so to speak in the rest of the season after this but this episode you have to uh, because i didn't end it here before i started record i thought i was here but uh, yeah i wasn't so we are going to see what kind of team we're going to put on the pitch in this first game against Fulham. We're just going to get there as well. And um, it's, it's interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what we can do. Are we uh, going to start in a good way or a bad way or... Yeah, in any way. Maguire... Let's see what happens here. He talked about something. How size we try... He's the manager. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Maybe some managers at Manchester United should do stuff like that. I think the players in real life has way too much to say about and has um, gone uh, gone bonkers with what they what they they don't fight for the club anymore i think that's the 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 saddest part of all uh you can see mctominy really trying to fight because he has the heart in the club now he's not as good as many of the other players so he might not be the right player anyway but at least he's fighting and, and trying and running and and giving it giving it all so to speak he must be envy of those players with a lot of uh, with a lot of talent that just don't care. Not envy, no, that's the wrong word. He, he's got to be furious with them. Knowing, seeing them with all that talent, so much better than he is, and they don't even try. They just, eh, the season is over. Let's, let's not care about that. There comes another season, and another... And then the career is over. And if I haven't won anything, at least I have a lot of money. It feels like it's the way they they are thinking today. I mean, there's no heart in the Manchester United club players, many of them. But whatever, let's get into this game here. De Gea, of course. Then we have 
from Binsaka. And we're of course going to play with Matis Delight and who are Varane as our second choice and Luke Shaw on the left. As a right midfielder, we have Sancho. And in the defensive situation there, we have Pogba. Then we have Bruno Fernandes. And in the, at the left, we have Kylian Mbappe. And up front, we have Karim together with Sheshko. You can see Binsaka and Sancho have a good relationship there. And Pogba and Fernandes has a good relationship. So let's hope that that will help us in the beginning here. We have Anel and Kamara, both of them are going to be on the bench. And then we have Chiesa and we have Ericsson and we have Rashford and uh, yeah, Cavani. He, I think he was injured when the preseason started or if he hasn't been playing um, any of the games. So let's put him in as well. And we want Dallo, Diallo as a reserve for the the right and Shola for the left. Or we have Rashford for the left. So maybe it's better to take, let's see here, under 23. And we're going to use Ethan Laird as that. Instead of, because Telus and Dalot is away. We need somebody to be able to take... Um, the wing back situation if that open if that gets into a problem with injuries and something so Shola Shortire the only player here that doesn't make it into the team I am actually considering maybe I should put him in the under 18 for now and uh, at least make him available for them I'm gonna do that available for under 18 90 minutes like that so, first game against Fulham. Let's hope for a good start of this season. And let's hope for, for uh, let's auto number all of them. Yes, that's okay. Submit that. Let's hope that we can really get on with it and get, um, what shall I say? Start out with a, with a win. That would be great. Let's pump our fist. Favorites here. It's hard to get them to motivate though. Bruno aggressive though, and Karim, of course, is motivated. So let's get into the game. Let's skip this and let the fun begin. That's Old Trafford against Fulham. Pogba, Bansaka, Delight. Yeah, right, I forgot. The friendlies I wanted without sound so that I could look on on other YouTubers and stuff like that while I was doing the preseason. Fernandez. And ooh Good free kick there. So let's hope that we can win this because it's important to start the season good as well. We don't want to end up like the previous um save that we had with Manchester United. We haven't really shown our stronger side yet. All these new great becoming players, if not if they aren't great, they are most likely becoming great. Here's Sancho. Oh that's so bad. See to don't know why they can't get that uh, when they've scored a lot in the preseason and stuff like that, why isn't that sort of with them uh, when the the season begins? It seems like they need to get a couple of goals in the season before they get into uh, finding the goal, so to speak. Um, and here's Mbappe and ooh. He's not been very good today, though, Mbappe. That's not very nice. Um, of course, he's not playing in his real position. And um, I don't think he will, because I think he's a very good... He's very good at that. And look who scores. 
I'm talking out of my ears. Now, whilst that offside, uh, crap. VAR shaking, and it's oh, it's awarded. It's awarded one nil for Manchester United against Fulham. Let's see here if, if it. Yeah, he was not offside there. The guy in the middle, in the central de defence, there was making sure of that. Yeah. And the player that covered the ball against Fernandes there, he was on on the wrong side of the wrong side of Mbappe as well. So yeah, that's good. Starting out with a one nil lead, we but yeah. With these players, we uh, I, they're newcomers. We should be doing better. We've started okay, but we should be doing better. Um, they've just arrived. They won the championship last season, so yeah. Here's Varane, Pogba, Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes trying to reach Sancho. He does reach Sancho and Sancho to Karim. And Karim finds the net and it's 2-0 against Fulham. Oh, 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 we started, we started. We started the season, we started, we started, we started the season. Sancho to Karim, and he just puts it in. Brilliant, squeezing it in there. That makes me happy. Bruno Fernandes, and, no, Varane. Varane to Binsaka. In Saka to Pogba to Fernandez and Fernandez oh he hits the post blimey 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 Bruno Fernandez Mbappe oh good save by their keeper we really started the second half good really great to be honest here's Shaw Mbappe Fernandez Shaw Mbappe Fernandez, Pogba, Viran, Shaw, Mbappe, Mbappe finding Sheshko, and Sheshko finding the net, and it's another goal. Three nil, brilliant. We are starting to play better here in the second half. The first half was extremely tight and strange. But we're really getting into it now. Will be interesting to to uh, see what we can do against Liverpool in the very next game. So, uh, but yeah, that's for for the next episode. But uh, yeah, good to start off the season with a win, that's for sure. And let's see what we can do here, Karim. Bruno Fernandes from Binsaka. Binsaka to Sheshko. Oh! And I'm thinking about doing some changes as well because we have a couple of players that can become... It could become a little problematic because we have a little too many players that feel that they should be playing, so to speak. Um, but taking care of that I, I think we're going to be able to take care of that i think it was more important to get the right players and to have a squad that we can actually afford to lose a player or two on injuries and stuff like that here's karim and karim makes in another one it's four nil so casey is going to come in as well and instead of a run, we're going to be putting in Kamara, I think. And Arnel will get the chance in the next... And Arnel this time and Kamara against Liverpool. The tactical changes, yes. And I'm not saying that uh, Kamara will start against Liverpool. He will just be in uh, substituted in in that game. So just to try to make everybody happy. And to keep them in the squad without problem. Ericsson. And that won't do. Mbappe. Mbappe. I don't know why I say Mbappe. It's Kise. Binsaka. Delight. Anel. Delight. Very happy to have gotten Delight. I think he's going to become 
uh, one of the best defenders in the world here and, and if he can develop in my club I, 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 I think we have something really great on the way here and if we if I can get rid of the, the, the dead wood in the club, which is problematic, of course, but if we can... Uh, Jadon Sancho! If I can get rid of Lingard, Maguire, and so on, Bailey, and, and, and those players, I will have the money to try and buy Alan Haaland, and then I will try, if he's not sold to somebody else. I know that Paris Saint-Germain was trying to buy him, but they failed. So, um, yeah, because, look, I mean, even though Sheshko is going to be, I'm pretty sure, going to be a really good striker, I think it would be great to have a, a partnership with with Karim and Erlen Haaland and then have Sheshko coming on from the bench. Uh, another player that will be leaving if that happens is, of course, Cavani. Then he's done his thing and he's going to... I'm going to try and, and sell him, of course. That's just the way it is. Um, hopefully, we will get um, Harry Maguire and all of them sold pretty quick. So, we might have... Because it's, it's going to be the entire August is a transfer month as well, of course. And um, if we can get Harry Maguire and company sold... We, and we can buy Ellen Haaland. We can put Cavani up for sale. Maybe even this, even in, the, even before this transfer window closes. So that would be great, of course. And as I say, five 0 victory, perfect start of the season. First half was very tight and very closed, um, and we did have problems in the first half. It didn't look very good, but in the second half, oh my god, Fulham could just as well been on the been on the substitute or in the spectators, the attendance uh, places, and eating hot dogs or something, because we were really pounding them and playing them right out of there. So Mbappe scores on his Man United debut. We have Chong being lent out. We have Classy Adiemi. On form again, we're gonna to have to praise him again, and yeah, perfect, perfect start of the season. Um, couldn't have asked for anything more than that, and it really, it really gives us the opportunity here now to to see we we're, we're gonna be figuring out in the next game if we are. If we are there yet, uh, or if it's going to take more games, because if we get pounded by Liverpool, of course we are not finished. But uh, I think once uh, Delight Veran uh, starts uh, getting a, a connection, Shaw and Mbappe getting a connection, Adeyemi and Sheshko, Adeyemi and Haaland, when they start getting a connection, we're going to be hard to beat. So. Yeah, of course, a perfect thing would be to to find to get Harlan into the team as well. Uh, yeah, I know I'm still gonna have problems with the uh, wing backs. I could use better wing backs as well, but I think that's the least of my problems. That that's something that I want to should I say aim for last. I think it's we have the 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 central defense which is brilliant now um we have a good central midfield we all actually have a really really good midfield all four of them are really good i don't think united has had this good of a midfield since they had beckham king skulls and gigs i think this is the best midfield since then so and it, but I don't, I'm not saying this is better than than that because it isn't. I don't think it is. Keane was better than Pogba. Scholes was better than Fernandez, and honestly, I think that Giggs were better than Mbappe. 
Sancho and Beckham. Yeah, I think Beckham was better at some things. Sancho may, might have more dribble skills and more pace. But Beckham had better crossings, uh, better passing play, better work rate, I would say. And uh, never gave up and was mentally uh, uh, something that is always, I think, is, is uh, not um, taken into the greatness of David Beckham is his mental strength, his... his um, uh, ability to to uh, make other players play better and stuff like that. Um, you could just see when Steve McLaren took over, I think it was directly, I think it was Steve McLaren, right? That took over directly after Sven-Jan Eriksson in the English national side and he decided he didn't want the the poster boy from, from uh, Sven-Jan Eriksson I say he didn't want to have the the picture of Svenjör Garen Eriksson's team, uh, so he left Beckham outside the national uh, the national side, and I think that was his downfall um, because uh, even you know, even if he didn't play, even if he wasn't good enough to play, I would still take him in as a substitute or something because his presence in the team made them work so much harder all the other uh, players uh, were working harder with Beckham in the along on the right so but that's for another something else here we have the new team the new season and uh, yeah we're just going to be keeping up with this and Next week we start with uh, episode one of the second season of this Manchester United save, and I'm actually very optimistic this time. I was in my previous United save, I was quite optimistic as well because I had gotten Erlan Haaland, uh, uh, and uh, I thought that, I, that that was the problem that we needed just uh, uh, somebody that could score. But uh, yeah, that ended up being wrong. Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, Erland Haaland were not enough to make us win games. This time, I think I've gotten a lot of strength by the defence here now with Matthias the Light and with Kamara as a substitute here as well. And um, Mbappe, which we forgot about in our last save, that his contract was running out. So getting him to the team as well will, of course, be a major, major thing. Makes this going to be good for us, I'm pretty sure. So that's the way it is anyway. So, yeah. Do like, subscribe and, and uh, all that jazz. And leave a comment down below. Uh, stay safe and have fun. And uh, we're looking forward to a long save with this Manchester United. And that we can build up a really good side and have loads of trophy. So uh, there's not much more for me to say than bye 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 bye.